If you want to become a mortgage advisor, you have to get your CMAP exams. But how much does that actually cost? That's what we're going to be breaking down in this video. My name is Ash Borland, your mortgage business coach. And today I'm joined by Charlotte Hemingway from Future in Finance. She is a CMAP coach who's helped hundreds qualify as mortgage advisors. So stick around because Charlotte's got some game changing insights to share with us all. So Charlotte, can you break down the costs involved with CMAP? So that's including the exams, the fees, the retakes, all the training expenses. What is that overarching kind of cost? Yes. So there's three exams, CMAP 1, CMAP 2, CMAP 3. Each of them are £223. So you're looking straight off the bat just to sit the exams about 669 quid, And that's without any training material other than the giant chunky textbooks that you get that come in through the post. If you have to resit any of them, the resit fee as of right now is about £180. It doesn't matter how many units you have to resit. CMAP 2, as an example, is four units. You might only fail one unit, which is 20 questions. It still costs £180 to resit the 20 questions. That's the baseline cost. You have to pay that to get CMAP qualified. You can then look at training material and they come in all shapes and sizes. Most people start with an e-learning option. So it's study at your own pace online. There might be video files on there. What people want to look out for with e-learning platforms is time restrictions. When I was studying for CMAP, I bought one, didn't realize it had a three month time restriction on it. Ooh. So 12 weeks went by and it was like, if you want it, you buy it again. None of my oh, products wow. come with a time restriction, but many do. So I would say to anybody looking for resources, check to see if there's a time restraint because life happens and it can get in the way. Sometimes things just get pushed back a little bit and you don't want to end up having to pay the same amount of money again because it just hikes your overall cost up. But you're looking around the £300 benchmark for any good e-learning platform and then you would look at other alternatives if you wanted to get qualified quick. I run a five-day masterclass. It, it's called an intensive course. You can turn up on Monday morning and by Friday evening, you'll be ready to sit your exam and you will be ready to pass that exam. It comes with unlimited support. So if you need to message me at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday because you're having a meltdown about life insurance, I am just on the other end of a WhatsApp message. You really do get handheld through the whole experience Monday to Friday. You get support on the weekend for your exam day. You get all the prep up to the exam point. And after that, most people are like, thank you very much. Please don't speak to me again. I've got everything that I need from you. <laughs> but just in case you don't pass at that point, the support is unlimited. So if it is that I have students where they've not felt ready to sit the exam or they've really struggled with their anxiety during the exam and it gets pushed back and we have to have more sessions together, the support is unlimited till you're qualified. That's the idea of the money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. That comes at a slightly higher price point. So it's £677 per course. Those are your two options. You can do it with just the textbook, but it is hard. And when you do it with just the textbook, you run the risk of multiple resets where if you invested up front from the start, you've massively increased your chances of passing first time. And that's where I want most people to be. I like those training intensives. So I said, that's what I did myself. From your perspective, what value does CMAP add to a person's career compared to the cost? Obviously, you, you can't do the job without mm -hmm. the exam, a lot of people are maybe reluctant on spending and paying what is necessary to get over that finish line. From your perspective, yeah. does the cost outweigh the benefit? If we're realistic, we've got 600, and, let's call it 700 pounds in exam fees. Plus if you were to go all in with two masterclasses, you're looking at about 2000 pounds cost yeah. up front. Would you pay £2,000 to build a career for yourself that works around you? So you can clock off on a Tuesday at 10 o'clock and go to yoga, or you can go to your kids' Christmas recitals or take time off during the school holidays and not be berated by a HR for doing it. Can you put a price on that? And is it more than £2,000? Most people would say yes. The other way to look at it is if you were to do an equivalent qualification at university, even if you did it part-time, university fees are monstrous. £2,000 wouldn't even get you one term, which is three months at university. And most people do it for three years. For me, it is a no brainer, but I appreciate it is a lot of upfront cost. How quickly can you recoup that once you're in a role? I think it's one of those things where if you're reluctant to spend the money, then maybe it's not for you. But it's one of the very few careers where you are able to earn a very decent income, have a really great job satisfaction and not require a degree and it can and also career development of potentially going self-employed if you wanted to run your own business the opportunities are pretty 
endless, but it all sits at that barrier to entry of the, the cost. My, my question to you is, are there any financial tips or budgeting advice that you would give students who are preparing for the CMAP who potentially want to be able to afford it, but maybe are, are on a budget? My tip is to invest up front and not necessarily the full masterclass package, because that is a stretch for a lot of people. If you drop £320 on an e-learning platform and pay for your exam fees, you are mitigating those reset fees. Mm. And if halfway through the e-learning platform, you wish you'd taken the masterclass route, you can just pay the difference. So it's not the be all and end all. If you commit to an e-learning platform with my products, you can pay the difference to bump up to another product. If you pay from the outset for something to support your studies, you are significantly less likely to have to reset. And it's the reset fees that sting people. It's the students that come to me when they've already sat their exam four or five times, and then they come to me for help. At that point, they don't want to drop another £300 on anything. I always say to people, start with the most suitable option for you. And if that's the cheaper option, the self-study version, go with that and get yourself in the best possible position because you have me on hand to answer questions anyway. It's an interesting one because my wife always says it's like a false economy. Pick the one that you know you want and need. She'll say stuff to me like, if I bought a pair of boots or something, she's like, what ones do you want? And I was like, these. And she's like, why did you buy those other pairs before that you weren't? the one thing you actually want. I was like, well, they were cheap. And, I, and she was like, if you calculate all three of those, you'll spend more money on the three of them than you would have on the original pair if you just bought the original pair. I think that is something me and you spoke about before with this idea of how you study. I need intensive. I couldn't do it any other way. Sometimes people do beat around the bush. I know it might seem a bit expensive, but it's if you are somebody that knows I'd need that intensive, I need to maybe not go on holiday this year and use my holiday to that. If you deep down yourself, that's you. I think sometimes people will be kidding themselves to go, I'll be the e-learning guy. What's your take on that? I think it's funny that you say that. Probably about 20% of my students do come back to me. And sometimes it's a week down the line and they go, the e-learning platform is great, but I just can't be asked. Like, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> then maybe let me hold your hand through it. Sometimes it's a little bit later down the line and they're four months in and they're still nowhere near sitting their exam and they realize they just need that kick up the arse to get it done. I always say to people, your finances are stretched. Go for the budget option. We can talk about bumping you up if needed. But 80% of my students pass with just the e-learning platform. The only other question I want to ask is what free resources are out there that you think are good for people just starting out? What kind of free resources would you recommend? Find yourself a community in some way, shape or form. So we talk about the Facebook group. It's yep. the CMAP study group on Facebook. That's a really nice place to be. There's so much free material on there as in people sharing their experiences asking the right types of questions i have a community whatsapp chat that's 400 other students who want to get cmap qualified all in one place and what you find is actually one person asks a question somebody else answers it i do very little in that group now because they all support each other but on the days where you hit a wall and that will happen unfortunately with cmap mm. it's not the most entertaining material to go through you have a group of 300 other people, 400 other people who are in your shoes and they can rally you through it. And I think support, whatever that looks like, whether it's free support from a community or paid support through e-learning or masterclass, support is what people need to get CMAP qualified. Check out this video on screen right now, which is a breakdown of all the modules of CMAP, one, two, and three, and how you can learn how to study them. It's completely explained by Charlotte. It's definitely worth watching.